morning, folks. Um, so quick note, uh, we usually start about five after to give folks a chance to turn up. Let me go ahead and stick the link to the meeting minutes in the chat. If folks could go and add themselves there uh, so that we can get a list of attendees, that would be great. Yeah, hey, Ed, can you check your Slack real quick as well? Sure. Ah, okay. Yes, I can definitely run the meeting. Cool. So I'm gonna drop for now so I can get some so I can get over to sleep. Yep, cool. Do take care of yourself. I appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. <clears throat> so reminder to folks, the meetings are recorded. They will be posted to YouTube subsequently. Um, you can go ahead and add yourself to the uh, Call. I'll stick that link in the chat, and we'll usually get going about five after. So apologies to folks for last week. There was a little bit of crossed wires. Um, I was on an airplane, uh, Nikolai was out on holidays, and then Frederick came down sick. And so things got a little bit um, crossed. Would someone be willing to share the agenda? Thank you, Nikolai. Much appreciated. Cool. All right. So, and a reminder to folks, uh, if you could follow the link in the chat and add yourself to the attendees, that would be great. Um, I'm going to go ahead and suggest that we start diving in. Um, so we'll start with recurring events. Um, so we do have this meeting um, every Tuesday. Um, in addition to this meeting every Tuesday and the one the half hour before we go over issues and PRs. There's also the, and you can find those at the Network Service Mesh Community link. Um, there's also the CNCF Telecom Users Group that happens the first and third Mondays. Um, and the CNCF SIG network, which is currently being rebooted, and it meets the first and third Thursday of every month at 11 a.m. Then major events. Um, major events have, as you might imagine, taken a bit of a hit in the last week or so. Um, so KubeCon, CloudNativeCon Europe has been postponed into the July-August timeframe. Um, as a result, the NSMCon at KubeCon EU has also been uh, postponed into that same time frame. Um, so our plan is to essentially follow the lead of the CNCF on this matter. So I do expect that, you know, barring protracted um, issues, these things will go on as plans um, in the July-August time frame. But we just don't have any further details, or at least I'm not aware of further details at this time. Is anyone else aware of anything in terms of further details on that timing? I don't think they have announced anything public yet. Yeah, that, that, that matches my understanding, but occasionally I miss things and I've been traveling the last week and so then I really, really miss things. Cool. Um, so likewise, the Open Networking and Edge Summit has also been postponed, I believe, till sometime in the fall. Um, so that we yeah. will 
um, get more information to you as we get it. Um, KubeCon, Cloud Native Con China has been permanently canceled. Not permanently, but for th this year it's been canceled. It's not being rescheduled. Um, Open Network Edge Summit Europe, we don't have any information on one way or the other, although it's now right on top of where North America would be rescheduled to, so I'm not sure how they're going to resolve that. And then to the best of my knowledge, KubeCon, Cloud Native Con North America, um, is intended to continue exactly as scheduled, um, mostly because nobody really knows quite that far out whether or not there's likely to be issues, I think. So um, that's still on the calendar. Are there any other events that we should be adding to our list of events at this time? Cool. Um, so, Announcements. Uh, as I mentioned before, we meet the half hour before this to just walk through the issues and PRs. Um, and that's on the NSM project page. So you can follow that link and, and see the things that are being tracked in the community. Um, and, and that'll give you sort of a, a decent idea of what's going on. So do we have our social media team here today? Yes. Hi, everybody. This is Ashley. Welcome. Thank you. Um, alrighty. So over the last two weeks, some social media updates that we have, it has been slower these past two weeks than it has been in previous weeks. So over the last two weeks, we have gained an additional seven followers. We've followed an additional eight accounts and had a total of 50 tweets and retweets. Obviously with all of the cancellations and postponing of some of the major events coming up, I think that has had a bit of a toll on our traffic. Uh, but as far as stuff that has been promoted in a SEMCON, obviously the postponement of that and prior to that, um, just trying to get the sponsorships and registrations up. However, that is no longer applicable until we have some further updates on when that will be rescheduled to. Outside of that, we've had some regular call reminders, video recaps from previous meetings, general CNCF weekly webinars we're promoting, CNCF news related to the CNF testbed, um, some CNCF projects, and um, a couple blogs, as well as the 2019 CNCF survey, which had a nice write-up about service mess, service mesh usage in organizations. Um, obviously, getting some information out there about the postponement of ONES as well, unfortunately. And then some general retweets about open source, um, mostly um, a good visual from Julia Evans about container networking, network service mesh, a big step towards cloud native NFE, uh, NFE, a good post over there as well. And then as far as LinkedIn, also a little bit slower these last two weeks with gaining five followers only and um, getting the same original content tweeted uh, promoted there as we have in Twitter. So the plan moving forward has shifted slightly with the change in events coming up. So as of now, we'll continue retweets and contributor podcasts and then focusing on the Cloud Native Zero Trust meetup happening next week in um, San Francisco, I believe it is. I guess everything NSMCon, KubeCon related is deferred until we have some further updates on dates and things like that. That's, that's definitely true. I mean, and, and it doesn't surprise me that things have been a little bit slower. Uh, the whole world has been slightly distracted the last right. couple of years, <laughs> uh, to say the least. Um, right. Yeah, I, I hope everyone is well and safe um, and, and working from home. Likewise. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, so thank you so much, um, Ashley, for the, the update on the social media stuff. That, that's extremely helpful. No um, problem. So we, we had been a little bit late on today's agenda. Um, I know that there's you know, lots of things happening in the background. Um, you know, we've talked about some of those in the issues in the PR meeting earlier. Um, we're getting very close to landing the forwarder uh, command, command repo, having something executable there. Um, so I, I wanted to sort of throw the agenda open and see 
um, what folks wanted to discuss here. Um, otherwise, I'm, I'm inclined, you know, when we sort of reach the end of what people want to talk about, I'm inclined to yield back the time and we can check in next week. So is there anything else that folks would like to add to the agenda? Uh, I have a small update on the examples. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, I, I saw a little bit of that go by in terms of the emails for the, the PROs. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, effectively, uh, I did some updates there. Uh, so, Go14, uh, which appeared to have some uh, 114 actually, Go114, uh, which appears to have some impact on the on the, the building infrastructure examples. And uh, that was a small one, but the, the bigger one was uh, I upgraded the examples to use the latest release uh, VPP 301 mm -hmm. to align with the with the mini repo with the core uh, NSM co components uh, which was uh, more or less smooth I mean I was just following uh, uh, our PR uh, in the upstream uh, what changes were done there and uh, just uh, applied uh, similar changes uh, in the examples repo uh, for the time being, everything is working. I don't see any 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 huge uh, huge problems there. So um, that's more or less uh, what's uh, what's going on in the examples. What what are the, the things that, that that I'm most excited about about the the, the 301 uh, VPPH and stuff? The way is that it's now using. There was an update to um, the gRPC protobuf generation stuff, such that it, you it allow it it causes the new client code instead of taking a grpc dot client connection as an argument and that's a struct it will now take a grpc dot client connection interface as an argument which is an interface um, which means that in principle it is now possible to mock all the things um, so that that's that's exciting uh yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not sure I take advantage of all these things, but uh, let's say that in uh, the examples, at least, we have the infrastructure now. So if uh, folks want to try things, they're there. Perfect. To try. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Um, yeah, so yeah. That, that's definitely good news on the examples front. Um, so I, I think that's getting to be good. Um, one thought, I. I, I I, I, I'm looking at the stuff that I'm working on for the command forwarder piece. Um, I, one of the things I'm looking at is how to test it. And so I'm, I'm considering basically if you run forwarder, it will run the, the daemon. If you run forwarder space test, it will run tests against the daemon. So we can build a single container and then we can actually test the container in place. Um, so we'll see how that works out, but that's kind of the direction I was thinking of going. Cool. Um, anything else to the agenda before we conclude for this week? Not on my side. All right, cool. I will see you guys next week then. Thank you. Thank you. See you.